Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the SNFL finals. This is the semi-final between Woodville West Torrens Eagles and the Port Adelaide. So a bit of a recap so far. The qualifying final was between Port Adelaide and the Crows. It was Port Adelaide 37 to Adelaide 22. In the second qualifying final was Gunnell versus South Adelaide. Gunnell 67 to South Adelaide 43. So here are the Port Adelaide Power entering the arena. It's a big game today. This is the first semi final between the Woodville West Torrens Eagles and Port Adelaide. The Eagles had the buyer in the first round of the finals and here comes the Woodville West Zones Eagles led by the captain Shay Smithy number 17 he needs to have a big game today but it looks like it's pissing down in our late oval it's gonna be tricky conditions here so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do click on the subscribe button leave a like and leave a comment and here is the Australian National Anthem. It's a big game for both clubs today. This game will put them into the grand final. Whoever wins. Woodville has been Port Adelaide all season long. Could there be a massive upset today? There's Shay Smithy wearing the long sleeves. Very clean, I might say. Razor Ray again umpiring. An Eagles match. Great to see. There we go. And Eagles win the toss and are kicking to the right of screen. Here we go. Go you mighty Eagles. Semi-final for the action starts now. Oh, good smother. Oh, why didn't you tackle, mate? Ball. Oh, what? Oh. Shay, he gets his first mark for today. Handball's over. Oh, kick it. He finally, he gets his first touch. Oh, and Colin Penrith kicks the first goal for today for the Woodville West Torrens Eagles, and they're up by six points. Ladies and gentlemen, scenes. What a great passage of play. Great goal there to start off the game for the Eagles. Oh, I don't like this camera angle. Over here, over here. High tackle, lucky. Bit of a little kick there. Not good. Oh, that's holding the ball. Come away, you need to be a lot more observant. So hopefully everyone is well, keeping nice and safe. And staying at home. Oh, the good good stuff there by Shay. Shay might want to kick long and he does. Oh. Go for goal, son. Oh, oh, what a mark. Well hang on, we might get an opportunity here. Oh, out of bounds on the full. 
Yeah, mate. Oh, Shay, he's there. Oh, he takes the first mark for today. Is there anyone leading into the pocket? Oh, he finds. Oh, he finds Colin Penrith. That is good footy there. I don't think Shay would have made the assistance. It's pissing down with rain here. What can Colin do? And he puts it through the middle for his first goal, I think. Beautiful. Fo oh, his second goal. Oh, he's loving that. Great, great footy there by uh, Shay. He looked for the open man. And Colin does the rest, kicks it through the goals. Eagles up by 12 points here at Adelaide Oval. Eagles are putting so much pressure on at the moment. They need to do that for four quarters. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, there's an open paddock. Oh, yep. Yeah, over here, over here. Oh, good footy. Oh, good mark by Nish. Go for goal, son. Go for goal. Straight through the middle, mate, hopefully. Oh, oh, he's gold it. Nish, what a goal. And the Eagles are up by 18 points here with 4 minutes 12 on the clock. Oh, beautifully kicked. Eagles, total domination here. Eagles in the change there. Okay, we need to make some room here. Oh, good grab. Who is there any? Oh, oh, Sha oh, Shay, he hits the post. Unlucky, matey. Unlucky. Unlucky. It happens. Yeah, bit of pressure on you then. Oh, what the hell is happening there? Oh, what are you doing? Come on, boys, come on. Oh, great mark there by Shay. Can Shay get his first goal for today? Oh, it's going to the left. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, no, he's shanked it. Not the start he wanted. Head up, mate, head up. Shay might be in here. Oh, in the back. Go for goal, mate. Go for goal. Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle. Oh. Oh, good grab. And that's a goal by William. Beautifully done for his first goal for today. That's a big kick, actually. Beautifully done. The siren should be going any minute now. Oh, what a kick. He got that one off. 
Oh, come on, Penrith, get to point. Sucking it through. And the Eagles are up by 27 points here. And there we are, that is quarter time. Woodville West Torrance Eagles are leading Port Adelaide by 27 points. What a fantastic first quarter by the Eagles. Four goals three, 27 to Port Adelaide, zero. Major ball winners for the Eagles. Shea Smithy with 12, Nish with five, Sagolo with four. Goal kickers for the Woodville West Torrance Eagles. P Colin Penrith, two, Williams. One and Nish with one. Port LA match ball winners. Uh, Jared with three. Jack with Jake with three and Devin Russell with two. On to the second quarter of footy. Can the Eagles extend their lead to a big one here? Oh good leg. That's holding the ball, surely. Oh, brilliant tackle by the ringer. Can this man? Is that ball? There we go. Oh, there's an injury. Oh, in a high tackle. Oh, could Shea get his first goal? He's already kicked a point today. Yeah, oh, it's absolutely windy here. What can he do? Can he kick his first? And he kicks another behind. It's windy as. It's all good. Oh, kick it, kick it, kick it. Oh, William, he kicks his second. Absolutely beautiful by the Eagles. Pressure footy at its best. And Port Adelaide have not even registered a score yet. Oh, what a goal. 34 points is the lead now. Good footy there. I think we'll want to handle more. Oh no. Another high tackle. Oh, go boys, go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Didn't have it. Can he goal it? Oh, oh, hit the post. <laughs> He was up by 35 points. Oh, God, our accuracy is a little bit off today. Oh. Oh, what a grab. That is a sensational mark. Beautifully done. Who's got a ball? Port Adelaide has. Why are we playing in the back lines? Carol Eels, get the ball. Oh, kick it. Oh, it's a point. Unlucky Pete. 
36 points up. Oh. Oh, they're on. They're on, they're on Port Adelaide. Can they finally get a score on the board here at Adelaide Oval? Oh, and it's a point. Sonny Kennedy kicks the first score for t Port today. Oh, what was that to? Oh, 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 Port Adelaide finally gets a goal on the board by Sonny Kennedy. They are happy about that. Oh, great teamwork there with the handball when Sonny gets his first goal for today. Five goals, six, 36 to Port LA, one goal, one, seven. Oh, a high tackle umpire, come on. Oh, honestly, I thought this would be a very close game. Well, I they need to work this up. Oh, what was that? That ball like went 200 meters up in the air. Interchange for Port Alain. Oh, he's got it. He's running. Can he goal it? Oh, he's handball. What did you handball for? Oh, what a massive choke. Oh, all right. Poor Ali need to make something out of this. Oh, what a grab. Oh. Oh, got smothered. There's three of you there. What's going on? Oh, a point by Cameron Sutcliffe. Shouldn't be too long now for the quarter. Oh, here we go. Oh. There we are, good footy. But, um, oh, what is that to? That is terrible. And that is half time, ladies and gentlemen, here at Adelaide Oval. The Woodville West Torrance Eagles are leading Port Adelaide by 28 points. Woodville West Torrance, five goals, 6.36 to Port Adelaide, one goal, 2.8. Major ball winners for the Woodville West Torrance. Chase Smithy with 19, Nish with 7, Sagolo with 5. Goal kickers for the Eagles. William with 2, Colin Pembroke with 2, and Nish with 1. Port Adelaide, major ball winners. Jared with 5. Bateman with five, Jake with four, and the only goal kicker is Sonny Kennedy for Port Adelaide with one. We are entering the third quarter here. It's been a pretty good game of footy so far. Oh, oh. what can Farrell do? He needs to put this one through the middle, and he doesn't. Another point. They're shooting themselves in a 40 airport I late. Their accuracy. Oh, what the? Carlos, what are you doing? Kick it straight out in the full. Well, he needs to kick this. Or we'll put it front and center to it. Oh. Oh. Sutcliffe gets it behind. 
Eagles 36 to Port Adelaide 10. So many opportunities Port Adelaide are having. There's two of you there, work it up. Oh, 30, he can get there, can he? Oh. Oh, 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 Bateman. Wow. Oh, there has to be a goal here. And they have kicked their second goal, Port Adelaide. Eagles 36 to Port Adelaide 16. Kind of pressure footy there by Port. Good goal. 5 goals, 6, 36 to Port Adelaide, 2 goals, 4, 16. Oh! That's deliberate, I think. Yep. Bit harsh, but what is, what is. Jackson made with a high tackle. Oh, holding the ball, Shay. Come on. There must have been something off the ball there. Shay is not happy. I'm surprised the coach hasn't dragged him off for that integration. And Jake has kicked a goal. Oh, they kick their third goal. It's five goals, six, 36. Eagles support our lead. Three goals, four, I think. How can that be a throw? He handballed it. Look at this. He handballed it, you fucking numpty umpire. I need to get my hip and shoulders up, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I am decking Port LA players, even though I'm giving away a lot of free kicks for it. And they kick another goal. Jarrett kicks his first. And Shay Smithy just stood there in the marking. Couldn't give a shit. There's another goal. Five goals, six, 36. To Eagles to Port Adelaide. Four goals, four, 28. They're coming back into this game nice and slowly. And the interchange for the Eagles. Oh, poor lad, they need to work this one up. Oh, can they get a goal? Oh, oh, they're running in. Oh, what are you doing, boys? Sonny Kennedy gets another goal. And the Port Magpies are coming back with a fury. That's Sonny Kennedy's second goal. Oh, I'm surprised he got back on it again. Gee. Yeah, five goals, 6.36 to Port Adelaide. Five goals, 4.34. It's the five minute mark of the third quarter. Oh no, Port Adelaide's going again. Oh, there's only one of you. Get up and run, son. And he does. He kicks the goal. Kane Farrell kicks his second. Oh no, he kicks his first. And Port Adelaide have hit the front for the first time in this match. Jeez. 
Five goals, six thirty-six to Paul Alev. Six goals, four. Forty. Oh. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Shay. Oh, what's going on? Oh, boys. Come on, lads. Oh. It's absolute scenes here. Oh, what's going on? Come on, Shay's in the middle. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Come on, boys. Bazard is injured for Port. It will be quarter. There will be time up soon. Oh, Shay. Shay needs to get better with his um bumping. This has been a very long quarter. Can Shay go for a roost? Oh, he get, oh, wow. Oh. It's a bit windy today here at Adelaide Oval. This court has gone for eight minutes. Shay does not want to get holding the ball here. Go for goal, mate. Go for goal. Put us back in front. There we go. And the Eagles have hit back in the lead by Pete. What a goal there by him. He kicks his first goal for today. Very happy with that. Woodville West Thrones lead Port Adelaide by three points. Shay Smith is talking to his boys. He is not happy. So, Woodville West Thrones, six goals, seven, 43 to Port Adelaide, six goals, four, 40. Major ball winners for the Woodville West Torrens Eagles. Shay Smithy with 26, Niche with 8, and Ruffhead with 5. Goal kickers, William with 2, Colin Penrith with 2, and Pete with 1. Port Adelaide's major ball winners, Joe with eight, Devin Russell with six, and Bateman with six. Goal kickers for Port Adelaide, Sonny Kennedy with two, Joe with one, and Jake with one. Now we are heading into the final quarter. Who will be the first team to make a grand final appearance this season?
Oh, he's running. Shea is running in to an over goal. And he kicks his first goal for today. That is probably an important goal for the Woodville West Torrens. He's kicked five goal. No, he's kicked one goal five. He's had a shocking game but uh, in front of the six today. Oh, well done, Shea. He puts himself on the board. Oh, a high tackle there. Oh, bugger. I need an egg, I need an egg. Porto is making in the change. I need one of my boys to get it out. No. Oh, we're up by nine points here, the Eagles. Oh, here we go. Port Adelaide's on. Can he kick? And has he? Oh, he's kicked the port behind Dylan Williams. Oh, good footy. Oh, he's kicked on the fall. Shay Smithy again, he's hating this bloke. You're gonna miss it, you poof. Shay Smithy has been very undisciplined in this game. And Bateman kicks his first. He kicks his first goal. Shay, what are you doing? You're the captain of the Woodville West Torrens Eagles footy club. And you're giving away a stupid free kick at this time of the game. Oh, Sonny Kennedy, he, he's got the ball. He can put them in front. He can put them in front, Port Adelaide, if he kicks this. And he goes it. Port Adelaide are in front by a couple of points. He kicks his third goal. Oh, wow. Scenes, ladies and gentlemen. Eagles, seven goals, seven, 49 to Port Adelaide, eight goals, 43. And Shay Smithy is on the bench. Oh, can the Eagles run this? Oh, they find a free man. Zach Boyd, he's taking a mark right in front of the goals for the Eagles. He needs to kick this. He needs to kick this goal, it's important. And oh, he's kicked a point. Poor Lale are up by three points. And there's not much time left. Oh, ball, oh! Oh, there's eagles around this. Oh, he's got the ball, he handles. Kenny and the eagles are running it up forward. And he puts, oh, it's another behind. Pete, he's kicked another point. Two points behind the eagles. They need to keep this pressure up here and not let Port get out. Oh, throwing the ball. Jackson Need, what have you done? What a tackle. Can the Eagles put themselves in front by four points? They need to kick this. They really need to kick this. 
Oh, he's kicked on the full Gerard Trotter. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, the Eagles need to get this ball, and they do. They're running it up. He kicks long. Who does he find? He finds Niche. Niche takes a mark. He's right in front of goal. He's about 30 metres away. And Shea, he's back on the field. Oh, he's kicked a point. And the Eagles are down by one point. They need to keep this in, the Eagles. They shrill and truly need to keep this in. Oh, Shea, he handles. Oh, it's a high tackle. Port Adelaide's free kick. Oh, no. The side will go any minute now, and Port Adelaide will advance to the grand final. Oh wow, this is scenes ladies and gentlemen. And Mitch has kicked it out on the fall from Port. Oh, Carlos, you dickhead, what are you doing? Oh, that stupid ranger Ch uh, Chandler has given away a free kick. This is not great. This could pretty much win Port the match. And Port Adelaide, our one point winners are heading into the grand final. And Port Adelaide, sorry, has won by seven points in a classic thriller. Seven goals, 10, 52 to Port Adelaide. Nine goals, 559. What a game of footy. Congratulations to the Port LA Football Club. They are going through to the 2020 SNFL Under-18s Grand Final. So Woodfield West Torrance, 7 goals, 10-52. Defeated by Port LA, 9 goals, 5-59. Final match stats inside 50s. Eagles, 27-22. Eagles disposals 124 to 95. Uncontested possessions 109 to 105. Poor contested possessions 37 to 29. Eagles 98 to 80. Eagles handballs 26 to 15. Oh fuck that! I'm not doing that. Player of the match goes to Shay Smithy from the Eagles. Dan Niche from the Eagles and Jack. From Port LA gets third best on ground. Shay Smithy was best on ground. Major ball winners for the Eagles. Shay Smithy with 30. Niche 11. St. Golo with 7. Goal kickers for the Eagles. William with 2. Colin Penrith with 2. And Shay Smithy with 1. Port LA's major ball winners. Bateman with 9. Devin Russell with 8. Jared with 8. Goal kickers. Sonny Kennedy with 3. Jarrett with one and Jack with one. What an absolute great game this was in the first semi final of the 2020 SNFL under 18s competition. So Port LA goes to the grand final and Woodville plays off in a preliminary final to get a second chance at grand final glory. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do click on the subscribe button. Leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts about this Shay Smithy pro football career mode. So ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the Woodville West Torrance preliminary final. Bye-bye.